Hi guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Maria and for today's video, I'm going to talk to you about the recent chalkboard menu project that I did for a local food business here in Qatar called Baker & Cater. So yes, I'm going to be sharing with you in this video the step-by-step -step process that I did, the tools and materials that I used to complete that project in hopes that it can be very helpful as well because actually these chalkboard walls are not just ideal for business, for cafes and restaurants. In fact, this can also be a very good idea or a very good personal project that you can do at your home, especially at your children's playroom or study rooms. Actually, in the past, I did two projects for clients here in Doha. Um, where they ask me to do scribble, to do calligraphy or lettering in the chalkboard walls that, that they had made for their children's um, playroom and study area. So if you haven't seen that, um, it's here and here. Okay, so yeah, please do check that out. Yeah, like I said, I hope that this video will be helpful for you whenever you plan or whenever you decide to have chalkboard walls. And don't worry because I know that some of you wouldn't want to paint certain parts of their walls with black or with any color using chalk paint. But don't worry because you don't really need to do that. There are other options that you can use or there are other materials that you can use um, aside from having the walls painted. So yes, the first option that you have, this is actually the easiest and maybe the, the very convenient one that you can get. Is of course this um blackboards. Okay, this chalkboards. These are actually available anywhere. I'm sure if you're not from around here, if you're elsewhere from Philippines, um you can get this in your local art store. And I got mine actually in Rauda. And there are other shops who sell this as well. It comes in different sizes. Yeah, it's very easy. Um, you get this and you can just hang it into your into your wall. Or you can give that to your children directly. Or you can put them at the level where your children can reach it. And then another option that you can use is this one. It's actually a chalkboard contact paper it comes in roll it's a sticker um this is actually the material that one of my clients used for her children's um study room slash play area okay so it comes in 96 inches long so if you're planning to make a chalkboard wall that is very big and if you feel that it's not enough you can actually order more of this i got this from amazon it's not available here in Doha but at least I haven't seen one yet but um, yeah I ordered this from Amazon I can have or I can put the description link down below so that if you're interested to order so yes you can actually um, use this as a gift wrapping paper a calendar and food tray and even labels yes if you would like um to put a label in your jar or some containers at your kitchen you can actually use this it comes in roll that's why it's easy to cut to size depending on what you need and this is also very convenient because at least you can easily like peel it off if you would like to redecorate or if you would like to remove the chalkboard wall already so it's very easy and convenient so yes going back to the chalkboard menu project that i did for baker and cater yes please keep on watching because i'm going to share with you now the tools and the materials that i use and then the process video stay tuned
So the first thing that I did after my client commissioned me to do the project was to visit the place and took measurements of the boards that I will be working on. Then I cut out a tracing paper following the board sizes and drew the design or the layout I was going for. For this project, I didn't include the text that needs to be on the board because my client had few changes on the menu, so I decided to just freehand them directly onto the boards. Before I started working on the boards, I had to prepare them first by seasoning them by rubbing a piece of chalk up, down, and across the entire area and then erase the whole thing with a cloth. You do this to ensure that the chalk marks won't stay into your board surface, making it difficult to erase later on. Then I went back to my tracing paper, flipped it, and used a sharpened chalk to trace my design, then taped it onto the board. Using a pencil, I went ahead and traced my design to have them transferred into the board as my guide for inking. To plan the spacing of the text and the wordings that I need to write onto the board, I used masking tapes in sizes half inch, one inch, and two inches. And finally, I started inking my design using the chalk markers from brands Edding, VersaChalk, and Bistro. And of course, the most exciting and satisfying part, peeling off the tapes. And there it goes! Two boards finally done. And yeah, that's it for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching again. Please don't forget to like and share this video. And yes, please do subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit the bell button below so that you will always be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you very much for watching. Again, this has been Maria. And don't forget, always do more of what makes you happy. Bye, guys! For today's video, I'm going to share with you about the... I'm going to talk to you. <laughs> Hi guys, this is... <laughs>